Can I say hi? Hi. Okay. So, what are you going to do here? It's not that you're going to eat the pizza. And in the same time, we are going to reveal what's, uh, what's coming in the, uh, in, the second, uh, in the second grade, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, today, what have I learned? Addition? Possibly? Yeah. So, from... From what I'm seeing here, uh, you have learned addition, right? And uh, I think you probably know. Um, so this is different form of addition. So you align things uh, vertically. What is what what is this thing called in English? I don't know what it's called in English. Um, did the uh, did the teacher mention it? Well, I think so, but I kind of forgot. Um, could you try to figure it out tomorrow? If the teacher doesn't, re um, if you cannot recall, then you ask the teacher tomorrow, so that uh, you can tell me what it's called. Okay. So yeah, please do that for, for me tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, I believe you don't have any problem with this. Basically, you have you, you can use different methods, but uh, it doesn't matter yeah. because no, no, you don't you don't do it right now because um, I, I'm sure you know how to do it. Actually, you can you can just write it down. So to and me, I'm pretty sure I know what this equation is. Yeah, you can you can do it tomorrow. Uh, do it do it later. So what I'm going to do is, is to review what what is what's coming next. Okay, and uh, there are different ways to solve the same problem. But as long as you know that nine plus two equals to eleven, I don't really care what method you use. You can learn a lot of uh, ways um, to solve the problem in the, yeah, in the school. And you know what's a, why that is a good thing for you? Do you know? And you can do things faster, right? Yeah. So that's a good thing. And I don't care how fast you do it. I just care whether you can do it or not. So that is why whatever I teach you cannot replace what you are learning at school, right? So let's just uh, uh, go to like uh, page 11 and see what this thing is. So basically, this thing is called Zhongyao uh, Shuzhou. So you will learn what this thing is called in English. Probably it's called... Number uh, line. Number line, okay. And uh, the g why you use this is to solve problems like this. And of course you know what, it, what this is, right? Yeah. Just, just write it down here. There's no problem you do more things than asked, right? Yeah. It's never a problem to do more things. And now, um, let's just uh, go to number 25. And then we get uh, some other thing. So... Probably this is telling you what are odd numbers, what are even numbers. And uh, I'm a little bit curious because you should have already learned at school when you were a uh, first grader, right? So are they basically the same thing? So as you can see, so you know what it is, this number is, right? Yeah. Write it down here. And it's all. It's even, yeah, you circle it. So basically just follow this format. You don't even need to look at this format because this is common sense, all right? Yeah. And uh, if it's a even number, then it's, it must mean that two numbers, uh, two, the, same num the same number, so basically a number plus the same number plus itself equals to this 12, right? Yeah. So let's say if a number and a plus the same number equals to 12, right, 12 here, and what this number would be? Would be? It? Yeah. It could be any number. Hmm? It could be any number. No, not any number because, yes, there could be a several combinations, right? Yeah. But we are saying that this number and this number, they are the same. Then what well, this number would be? It's a double fact. Exactly. So basically, it's a 12 divided by 2. So you learn you actually learned uh, more than that already, right? But uh, to make it simple, yeah, but basically 6 plus 6 equals 12, or 6 times 2 equals 12, or 12 uh, divided by 2 is 6. All these things you already know, right? Yeah. And that is what, I'm, what I want to know, because I want to know what you, what you already learned, and what you sort of know, but not exactly sure, or like you totally don't know, and what is incoming, okay? okay. So that's just... Uh, this is to be 25, we will go a little bit further and go to page 29. And then you'll be learning something like this. Oh my God. 
Okay, I'll deal with this later. I'll just let's just finish this first. Okay, actually, no, I shouldn't. So yeah, just give me zero seconds. Okay, then this mess up because it could be smelly. Right. So in the same time, in the same time, just try to do this here on the on your exercise book. Okay, and okay. I'm going to clean up the mess I just made. Change in a me. Okay? So try to do it before I finish here. So again, there could be different ways that uh, there are different ways to solve this problem and you will learn at that school, but just learn you solve the problem using the way that you already know, okay? Okay. Don't leave it up. Don't uh, you don't really have to write this because you should you uh, should use the vertical form. So do you know how to do it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna do it. Interesting. You do it without using the vertical form. It's pretty advanced. Let's see if you can do it. 76. So that is really good. Uh, just, 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 just scratch it. You don't have to erase it. And uh, by the way, 76 is the right answer. You can just write it here. Because you already did it, right? Yeah. So this is... Um, not as easy as the previous one, but it's you still you already know how to do it, right? Yeah. Okay. Now let's just go a little bit further and see. You got more than more of this, and you can draw blocks to solve this problem. But you can do it without drawing blocks, which is, which is awesome. I don't think they have to do it all the way over here. Of course you don't. We are assume this, this is a whole year. In the whole year, you need to finish this book, right? Yeah. So you have a whole year to finish this book. But we are going to see what kind of problems you are going to solve, okay? Yeah. To see how hard it is. And if it's too easy for you, then what you are going to do is that you are going to do them much faster, right? If you already know how to do it, but you, if, for example, if me, I can easily tell you, easily, easily tell you that, uh, for example, this, this is a uh, um, 82, right? Yeah. I can do it really quick, but you cannot figure it out uh, that fast, right? Yeah. And then you will take your time to master it. And at the same time, just do one. No, I don't have to do one more because you already proved that you can do one of these, right? And the same thing, same thing. Okay, now it's different. So now there's sub subtraction, right? Yeah. So try to do... And um, this one. Um, 90 minus 30 is 60. You can, use the, you can use the vertical form. You can draw something. Or you can just do it. Uh, 66 minus 7. That's awesome. And you corrected yourself. Nice, nice, nice. Very good, very good. Yeah. So, of course, you don't need to do this. <laughs> the whole book today, right? Yeah. But we are going to see, like, uh, what you will be facing. And now, same thing. You skip this. So, basically, you see, there are different yeah. ways to solve the problem, yeah. right? There even times in this book. Huh? There will be, like, 200 or something. So, let's just uh, go through them really quick, there's okay? There's no times. I don't see there's any times. No. And that, that is why you so will. Uh, will I will you learn times. I don't know. This is a question for George. He knows it. I don't really know. That's why I'm trying to figure out here. So now, this is something that is, uh, of course, I didn't tell you. But and try to see this problem if you can figure it out. If you can't, it's totally fine. But you you are, you know that this is in, you are, you need to learn this this year at some point, right? Yeah. So try to read this. Try to see if you can read this. And then I try to see if I can solve the problem. Not try it. What? Four 
14 plus. Eleven. Very, very good. Muy bien. So you have no problem understanding understand this question. You have no problem giving the um, answer. You have no problem reading it in your mind without uh, reading it loud, out loud, right? Yeah. Which is uh, harder. It's harder to, to just silently read it, right? Yeah. And you did the calculation in your mind 100% accurate. So that's a very, very good job. Okay? Yeah. Yay. <laughs> that's so stupid. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm more stupid than you. I mean, you're smarter than me. So much smarter than me. Okay. So now, there is something interesting. So let's see what a problem is trying to solve here. So write the means and numbers to make the equation true. So basically, um, there are different uh, ways to solve this. So this is a combination. I haven't, I haven't taught you about oh. this, but can you figure it out? I think... I know. Yeah. yeah. There are different ways to do this. In this case, could you explain like what you are, what you, how are you trying to solve this problem a little bit? Well, I don't really know how to explain how. I'm... Okay, then just do it. It's okay. I can explain like how maybe for you later. I'm not very sure. I think you can tell me what it is, and I'll, I'll tell you whether you are right or wrong. If you are right, some twelve. It sounds like twelve. No, not twelve. Think again. But you are getting close. Very close. Eleven. Yes, it's 11. Write down 11, and I will explain like uh, at least two ways of solve, solve this problem. I will ask which way you took, okay? Yeah, don't. Don't use your force too hard. Okay, so there are two ways, basically. One way is that uh, 14 plus 22 equals to 36. 36 minus 25 is 11. So this is the way, one, one of the ways. So have you solved this problem in this way? Yes or no? No. No, okay. And then there's another way, which is, I will write down here. So we are trying to solve out the, solve the problem that 14 plus uh, 22 equals to 25 plus uh, which number this is, right? And 25 equals to 22 plus 3, right? So 14 plus 22 equals to um, 22 plus 3 plus question mark. Let's call the question mark x, okay? And then we are going to remove 12, uh, 22 at the, from both sides. So then it's a 14 equals to 3 plus x, okay? Yeah. So now x equals to 14 minus 3. So which number plus 3 is 14 and it's 11. This is another way. So, this is a, so is, was this a way that you were thinking in your mind? Yes or no? I don't really understand. Hmm? I don't really understand. understand. Okay, then the, the answer must be no, right? Yeah. So you solve the problem in a different way. And I don't really care what the way it is, but um, because you can because you, you can solve this problem, so I see no problem is this. Okay. So um, basically this is just some like a combination of the things you already know. So I assume it's gonna be okay. And here we got some other things. So this is um, some applied, uh, uh, some questions, it's called applied math, so which is uh, something that you use in your life. Uh, let me try to read this really fast. And uh, um, I think you should be able to figure this out, but uh, try it for me, okay?
If you don't want, you can just say that. Nah, too complicated. But I think it's pretty simple. Is you even a pencil that has 18 cents? Probably not. Probably you don't buy a single pencil because no one carries the 18 cents with him when he's buying something, right? Yeah. But it's just a question, so forget about that. A quarter is 25 cents, I think. Yes, you are right. And then... If I did Dave that, then I probably wouldn't even want, want a change. No one will want to change it. No one is going to buy a pencil with a quarter, and no one is selling a pencil for 18 cents. All yeah. this doesn't make sense, so just tell me what number it is, okay? <laughs> eight. Huh? Eight cents. The answer is wrong. Do it again. Again, you are doing, you are getting really close. So that's why you still need to go to school. You can, you know how to do it, but still you get it wrong, right? But you can do it right. Oh, seven. Yeah. Really close, right? I just write it down here. So now you in the future don't have to do it anymore. And please, please, don't do this again. It's the third time. The first time I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll get mad, okay? Okay. Yeah, this is not cool. Yeah. Okay, so now, we already have one part. Should I change that pencil? No. You should be able to use this uh, mechanical pencil, use a reason reasonable force to write down something, right? Yeah. You should be able to. You didn't because you were thinking about the writing a number and don't do it. I mean, this is hard for kids to just do multiple things at the same time, doing them right. But uh, you are getting better, okay? And by the way, we already reached almost half of the pages. So you are making really good yeah. growth. Yeah, so this is probably going to take a whole semester to finish or even like more than that. So we in total we have a hundred... Uh, right. See the last page, okay? The last page, we see... Um, yeah, just try to get the, the last page. I think it's 250 something. Yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, oh, actually 226, yeah. So the half of 226, do you know what it is, by the way? They have a 226. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. So it's, oops, 100 and... 100 and... Yes. 113. That is really good. So see, you can solve the problem. That is saying 226. So, divided by 2 is uh, 113, right? So that's really good. So it's probably like... So which means uh, here... 113. So which means now you are reaching more than a half, right? Yeah. If it's page 121. That just makes it uh, super good for it, okay? So this is the half. Yeah, this is exactly the halfway point. And uh, since you... I wanted to go... go Keep going, but since you already pointed out this is half of the of everything, then try to okay. What is this? So color two parts, and uh, yeah, I don't know. Like uh, yeah, we don't have color, so it's it's fine. Okay, never mind. Don't do that. Let's skip to one forty six. Okay, so now this figure out what this is. I don't give you any hint and you figure out what, the, what this is. This is very, very simple. But I'm not going to help you, so see how much time I'm going to take. What? Yeah, what? Do I even have to use a number line? Seriously, tell me what this is. Tell me what you wrote. What? 
511 is is less than <laughs> you she was so confident that you were wrong, right? Yeah. That's why I asked you to write it down. And that's why, again, so whatever I teach you at home, it doesn't replace what you're going to learn in school, right? Yeah. At school, you can learn something really, really easy, but still can make a mistake. And some other people can still, other kids can still do it them faster than you, right? Yeah. So even though you know it, and then you still make the mistake, still be mistake, don't make it again. But uh, to redeem yourself, do this very quick. I forgot the sign. Um. Okay. By the way, if you forgot the sign, it's here. It's right here, okay? Okay. Yeah. Here. So if you read from this and then do this, it will be very easy for you. But uh, I was uh, trying to like be tricky for you and uh, make it tricky to you, okay? Yeah. So you did this and you make a stupid mistake, but it's okay because everyone makes mistakes, right? Even easier mistakes? Yeah, even I will make some mistakes sometimes, so don't worry about it. And uh, well, this is interesting. So I don't think you can do this without uh, writing a... Um, like a uh, the vertical form. So, but I think you know how to do it, but I'm not really sure. So Wait. try to do this. Do you know how to do it? Uh, let me know, let me know. Are you able to do it or not? If not, I can, I can tell I you. I think so. Then try to do it. Five hundred and eighty-five. Seriously? Write it down. It's it's cracked. Damn. And I was saying that you are not smart enough. You're really smart. Okay, I underestimated you. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> it's awesome. I I didn't know. I thought you have to write it down. Something. Oh, it's good. Okay. So now, this. It's something different. So tell tell me what it is and tell me what you think. You can give me any number, it's fine. But what uh, is this? Height. Height of a chair? Yes. And this word is S S M A which means this. Yes. About I think I kind of did this before. It was but that way. Really but try to guess it again. Don't think you what you did last uh, last time, okay? okay. Just uh, from scratch. So try to guess. 18, inch, eight, 18 and a half inches. <laughs> no, maybe it's not half arm. But if I think that's like this is a th 5 inch, 10 inch, 18. Yeah, I think it's close. You can just write it down here. And uh, I don't know why it's uh, Yeah. And then you need to measure. And we are not going to measure here. We are going to do it later. Measure so, okay. about. Yeah, measure means that you, you measure the use a ruler, right? Okay, interesting, interesting. That is very good. And we are getting close, right? Yeah. Oh, passing. And this is my favorite part. Passing? Yeah, so this is using centimeter rule. So this is user, this requires a ruler. So I'm going to like skip this part. So basically, this is about marrying uh, and calculating. They put the two things together. That's interesting. And here, this is uh, um, geometry. And um, describe one way to categorize the polygons. Um, yeah, so this is something that uh, um, we are, uh, I will leave it later because I don't have, I don't have to teach you, I don't, I haven't teach you anything about uh, geo, um, geometry um, at home. You learn it from school, so I will leave it at school. Maybe I will teach you something after we finish the, um, finish the, 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 that's what I'm sure I do. Arithmetics, okay. And this thing. So I don't draw two the row all the sides the same lines. How long is each side of the triangle? Interesting. This is something that is interesting, but um yeah. It's good. And now there are some like funny things. I think we can go through this at some point, but you already know about the basics of everything. 
And uh, yeah, this is the um, about putting the data together. I will list this part later. But you already know all the you already know all the basics. Oh, not the basics. Not the all the knowledge knowledge you need to f to finish the second grade. That is really good. So cool. I think we already reviewed all the very reviewed all the um, um, mathematics related. Uh, uh, knowledge you, you you will learn in the incoming year and how do you feel do you feel like it's going to be super easy or like it's going to be like interesting or like what do you feel what do you what do you think um, it's going to be a super easy but a little hard i don't think it's hard at all but uh, i think you probably want to improve your speed to do them much faster than you can so do right now which part is a little bit so harder? Write, writing. Writing? Yeah, sure. We are going to uh, look at the writing later. But for now, for the math, you are doing good enough. So thank you. And uh, yeah, have a good uh, second grade. Bye.